welcome to the quick desk so today in this video tutorial we are about to learn amazon elastic cache for redis and also i will explain how to access that redis database from the ec2 and also you can access that from redis insights so let's start i'm on my aws console for elastic cache search here we are choosing redis cluster as redis is in memory data store that supports various languages and also provides sub millisecond latency to the real time applications e-commerce websites and etc it is also faster than any secondary relational database it is fully managed service so we no longer need to perform management tasks such as hardware provisioning or software patching <coughs> in comparison to disk based databases we are most operation in round trip for the disk it stores all the data and memory that's why it is fast so click on create redis cluster and we are going to start from scratch and here cluster mode we are disabling it and for production uh, I recommend to enable the cluster mode so the name I am giving redis test 0 2 location would be on AWS cloud and for port I am giving a custom port you can set the default port also in node type there are various options I am selecting t2.micro and here number of replicas are 2 that means we will create 2 replicas of this node and one will be our master node of the redis in subnet group you can select the existing one but I am creating a new one here you can choose between different subnets I am selecting all the three just click on next in security tab I am selecting encryption in transit and for access control I will use reddit authentication default user access here you need to provide an authentication token for that I am putting it to one thing for security group we need to create a new security group so for that click on create security group and redis sg3 security group has been created we can copy the security group id and here just click on manage and reload and put it here just click on choose and I am disabling the automatic backups for production environment I recommend you to enable this check this is for test purpose that's why I am disabling it here the preview click on create now our nodes are available so for connecting we we'll use redis cli on our ec2 i have already launched an instance with simple configuration if you want to see how to launch an instance then here is the video in i button one thing for security group we need to enable the inbound traffic to this cluster from our ec2 
for that add the inbound traffic of our EC2 instance that is the custom port used by this elastic cache you can also copy it from here and in security group I will add the security group of my EC2 instance now we will connect to it using the public IP and WinSCP tool put the IP in the host name and for authentication select the PAM file you have downloaded I have here this PAM file and click on login now we are logged on to our EC2 instance via SSH here comes the crucial step now we need to install Redis CLI on it for that go to redis.io click on download and here first table version we'll copy this URL and we'll use the command sudo wget and this URL it will download the package that is here so for ls that will list so now we have tar.dz form so for unzipping it we will use sudo tar hyphen xvzf x for execute v for verbose and z for unzipping and after that this red is and here now it is unzipped here we can see we have the folder redis stable so just go into it now we are building it from source so we need to install some development tools for that now in AL2023 we have new package manager that is DNF so we'll use this one now you can also try yum that will also work fine <coughs> and I will provide all the commands in the description now it is installed now we need another package that is OpenSSL devil I'm again saying that you can also use yum here let me show you we have installed both the package now we are here so just enter the command sudo make and we have enabled the authorization token so it require the TLS validation there and for building that one we will use build TLS flag and we'll put it to yes it will take some time to compile it from the source here it is successfully compiled from source so for installing that package will use command sudo make install now we access our redis cluster using the redis cli for that we need this we need primary endpoint of our redis cluster 
and for connecting it we will use redis cli hyphen h here is the host name or the primary endpoint and for authentication token we will use hyphen a flag and paste the authentication token here and we will use hyphen hyphen tls parameter as we have used a custom port so hyphen p for the port and 6380 click on enter here we can see it is connected and for the checking we can put ping it should respond pong here we can see it is connected and also I can put set X and just click on hello and enter it will say if I get X it will print hello so that's all thank you